Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. I'm going to admit, I made a video for you guys, and I think I lost the footage, and it was me assembling this thing. If I find the footage, then maybe I'll put a video out on it. However, I'm going to do a teardown of something I have assembled. So what I've assembled here came in this box. You can buy it online. It's called an ESP8266 weather station kit and it comes with a URL for the instructions. And if you go on GitHub, you can find all of the stack. But basically, basically it's an Arduino device. I'm going to plug in this little Arduino device. I'm sure you wanna see what it can do. Um, and it does as it says on the tin. It's a weather station, but it's it's a little bit more than that. So I plug it in and you can see it says connecting to Wi-Fi and it's using the standard Arduino -y type stacks where you hard code your SSID in there and your web key or WPK key or whatever they call them now. And you can um, then hook it up. It goes on, uh, you grab some API keys and then it goes on to a weather service and that's what you're seeing here now. So you're seeing it says Friday in your area, the temperature is that, Saturday's that, Sunday's that, and it's actually wrong. I've got it set to the wrong place. I think it's set to a place in the US that sounds similar to here, although judging from that time, that can't be right. And then you can see it, sl it slowly um, scrolls through those pages and it operates the screen. But there's so much more to this kit than what you see on the screen because you can see you have a ESP8622 board right there, which I think is also called a Node MCU or a WiMOS. It's just a standard board, very similar to the ones that we use for our other projects. But you can see it does have this weird thing where it's quite wide. And you'll know uh, as it stands, these boards are almost wider than most breadboard, giving you only one set of pins. So this one actually comes with two pieces of breadboard uh, and that's the only way you can really hook everything up. Now what you have here on this board is a number of uh, additional sensors so it comes with clearly with this screen this um, OLED display that's um, I think it's pretty much I squared C I think the whole thing is bust off I squared C actually it's not spy it's all I squared C so it's nice and simple. And then you have a number of other sensors. So here you have a light sensor and that's the little sensor there. And if you look at these boards, you can actually get all these boards individually anyway. So that's the light sensor there. This is, they're calling an atmosphere, atmosphere sensor. So I'm not entirely sure what an atmosphere sensor is. Interesting enough, this isn't I squared C. It's got its own data format. So there's some decoding going on the Arduino to decode this particular data format. And then here you have a barometer. So you're getting a bunch of sensors uh, here. Oh, yeah, this one's also got combined temperature, if I'm not mistaken. So you have four bits of sensing that's going on here. And as part of the API key, it um, allows you to hook it up to an IoT display graphing uh, system that I think is hosted by the same company that does MATLAB. So then you can log in online and see the values being logged for this. So you've got two things going on then. So you've got the weather information being pulled from the internet which is displayed on the screen and that is totally independently from all of the sensing going on here um, and but and then the second thing is all the sensing going here and here being displayed on the IOT thing online or via Wi-Fi <clears throat> and uh, it works pretty well actually I've had it running for about a week um, I did do a, say, a nice assembly video. There's not really any gotchas on here. Um, I will show you this though, interestingly enough, so you can see, just to prove to you, it's all bust on I squared C. Those are all the uh, I squared C lines and it's using D3 and D4. I'm pretty sure you've bit bashed the I squared C on these, so you could probably move them over to something a little bit more sensible over there. You don't need particularly fast I squared C with these sorts of devices. And then you do have one additional line here, you see this gray wire, which is going to D5, which is a digital input that's being used to decode this atmosphere sensor. Um, I'm looking to see if there is any information on these boards. I don't think there are. This one does say actually BMP 180. I believe this barometer is a clone of maybe an Adafruit. I think they're all clones of Adafruit uh, boards or something similar. What's weird is this light intensity sensor because there's a lot of gubbins going on for this light intensity sensor but 
perhaps again it's mainly down to uh, getting it to speak on I squared C. I mean that's all I can think of because really I don't think it's much more than a LDR. So there, so go out and buy this if you want to uh, have a big bundle of wires like that. I really like this, I think if this existed in a small project box and I'm pretty sure you could make it exist in a small project box it would be pretty cool I mean if I can get hold of some more of these screens you can emit all these other sensors and everything and just have it as a little uh, desktop weather station you know and then customize these I think my next steps though in terms of a project I would like to modify the UI here so it can actually show all these local sensors going on here and it should probably do um, some other cute things. So if you look at my other projects, you can see I've got it so that you can log into the device as an access point to set the uh, Wi-Fi codes and everything. And I would definitely want this one to do that so I don't have to hard set those. And it'd be really nice here if it showed you the DHCP and Wi-Fi settings. Um, and to do that, you could easily add some inputs here so you can actually have some buttons to scroll through and do a whole little configuration interface. So there you go. Hopefully that's of some use to you. If you're stuck at home in the coronavirus, um, hopefully it'll pass and you'll uh, emerge the other side like uh, a bug out of an imago and uh, spread your butterfly-like wings and uh, do something interesting. Um, and if you have all of these parts though as part of a Arduino kit, like an Eligu, which I did have, but I can't find, maybe I'll give it away. Um, I did notice those Eligu kits tend to come with loads of these pieces, so you probably have enough to put this together um, and certainly get the API key. Um, another thing you could do, by the way, remember all the radar modules and all of that we were messing with? If you do have uh, access to that API, you could log the uh, radar um, pings to that, just graph them on that so you can actually build something similar. So yeah, I'd say look at the weather station kit documentation and see if you can adapt it. As ever, thank you for watching. <laughs>